distant memory. Good day, everyone. I just wanted to share some of my thoughts, it predictions, and sort of theories around some of the characters from Fallout 4 in relation to Season 2 of the Fallout TV show. So let's start off with the first one, which is the title of this video, The Soul Survivor. Are they going to show up? I'm just going to say it now, no. There's no real need to add them in, and I think that would sort of leave a sour taste in a lot of players' mouths, because it would essentially tell them this is what your character should look like. Now, with that being said, do I think that there could be mentions to them? I think that is 100% a possibility, I just don't know how likely that would be. Those of you that know both the TV show and Fallout 4, We'll know that both the Ghoul, or uh, Cooper Howard, is ex-army, as well as the player character, or the Soul Survivor, is also ex-army. That does mean there could be potential for references to the Soul Survivor by the Ghoul, but again, is it going to happen? I highly doubt it. With all that being said, I wanted to also cover what I think the Soul Survivor is currently doing at the time of the TV shows. As those of you that have watched TV show may know, the Prudwin shows up, meaning the Brotherhood of Steel playthrough is probably what's now considered canon. That means that the Soul Survivor would have joined the Brotherhood, Excuse got all the way the through and became a Sentinel. In the years in between, I think Can they probably would have carried on operating in the Commonwealth, gaining a good wealth of knowledge of the surrounding area and the other sub-factions that are within it. That leads me to believe that the Brotherhood might leave them there as sort of a custodian. They're quite a high-ranking member at this point, there's no reason why they couldn't be left in charge of the Brotherhood forces there. Now, moving on to things that are already in the TV show, we already know the Pridwin is there, it shows up, it's on screen. Is the crew the same? We don't know yet, they've not really shown any crew members from the Pridwin, but it leaves a high possibility that we could see some of those crew members, some of the Proctors, the Lancers, from the Pridwin. I don't think we're going to see many of them, the most likely one, in my personal opinion, is going to be Elder Maxon. He is like the figurehead of that chapter of the Brotherhood. I don't think it's going to become a main character. I think they'll just use him as sort of give a speech, a bit of a wow factor, so that the fans can see him and see how well they can make that character in real life. Again, I think it would just be sort of a speech about their victory at the observatory and possibly their future plans with this cold fusion technology. That might sort of link in with Maximus, with sort of his internal turmoil, whether he wants to stay with the Brotherhood, whether he thinks what they're doing is just, or whether he's going to try and run off and go and find Lucy again. One of the other things we could see, and you might consider it a character, it might not, is technically a three-story tall robot, but there is potential for seeing Liberty Prime be brought in. Now some of you might be thinking, well why? They've sort of accomplished their main mission in that area. That's true. But those of you that have played Fallout 4 would know Liberty Prime has had some issues with power. That's initially why it was never used by the US Army before the Great War. They've now just unlocked this great cold fusion. They might try and work on a way of adapting this cold fusion to either power the Pridwin, because that's had some power issues, or to power Liberty Prime. Potentially they might even try and recreate the technology so they can power both. So it is potential to see Liberty Prime in it, but again I think it's not going to be main sort of focus, because that might take away from the TV show a bit. It's likely we might just see it in the background like we have the Pridwin, or just mentioned as something they're working on and something they're developing this cold fusion technology for. That all being said, I think that's pretty much the only sort of characters that might get referenced or mentioned or potentially even seen on screen in the Fallout TV show. I do think they're going to try and keep it a lot more uh, freedom, but that being said, they are looking like they're moving towards the New Vegas setting. I don't know much about New Vegas, so I'd love to hear in the comments what your theories are in regards to this New Vegas setting. What could we see? What are the sort of key characters that might point out when they move into the New Vegas area? If you like this, please leave a comment about any of your theories, anything that you disagree with, as well as leaving a like, and even considering subscribing. Have a good day.